hi guys i'm starting this video right after i finished filming a different one so that's why i look the exact same but it is sunday right now i'm going to start a video where i read viral books for a week and see what my thoughts are on them and give you guys like a reading vlog it's sunday evening right now it's like six o'clock i think and i'm going to start my first book which is flawless this book has been so viral lately and i want to see if the hype is worth it the cover is insane it's so beautiful i'm very excited to just have it in my collection because it's so pretty but i've also heard it's a fantastic series i'm going to start this video off hopefully strong by reading flawless and we're just going to get on to it i'm not going to tell you guys the other viral books i'm going to be reading because i just want you guys to find out throughout the vlog i'm going to throw some really good ones in here that I haven't read yet that are super hyped up. I hope you guys enjoy this, but let's get started on our first one, which is Flawless. I'm gonna jump right on into it and start reading it and see what my thoughts are. So let's do it. guys it's now monday it's almost six o'clock i've had a whole day of work but i'm back home now i did have a chance to read quite a bit today so i started yesterday i only got about 20 pages in so today i knocked a huge chunk out but i'm on page 146 so i have like a big chunk out of the way my goal is to have this book done by tomorrow so i need to knock out a good bit tonight and then hopefully tomorrow i can finish it all up but i just wanted to give you an update on what my thoughts are so so far i am so obsessed with this book if you know me you know i am not a country girl at all like i don't like listening to country music i'm just not like a country girl so i was a little nervous going into this with this being like a country theme but i actually love it so much so you have summer and Rhett. Rhett is the cowboy bull riding golden boy and he ends up getting in trouble with sponsorships right off the bat in the beginning of the book and then you have summer who's the daughter of basically the guy that owns the company that does all of Red's sponsorships so she works for the company and she ends up having to basically like babysit Rhett but obviously he's a grown man so it's not ideal at first he's kind of upset that she has to be around him all the time and she's obviously not like loving it either but I'm getting to the point where they're starting to get deeper with each other it's mostly him saying that he can stop thinking about her I honestly love the setting even though I'm not a country person I love the setting I don't know it just puts you in such a different space than most books do because usually it's like a small town or a beach town or city or something along those lines but you never really get a book that's like in the country setting and this is in like the country in Canada it's all about bull riding so obviously like cowboy style but I'm gonna read more tonight and see how much I can get through and then I'll update you guys tomorrow how it's going but so far so good I really like flawless I'm definitely gonna pick up the other books in the chestnut spring series because I really love this one so far and the covers are just stunning so I have to add the rest to my collection I'm excited to keep reading this we'll see how their relationship develops that's the update hi it's been a long day it's now tuesday almost seven o'clock but i wanted to do my little daily check-in because i haven't had much time to record i have a scene to keep you guys updated i'm on page 319 so we're on chapter 26 we have let's see a little over 100 pages left where i'm at right now Rhett and summer their relationship is starting to form they both have mutual feelings towards each other there's nothing huge that's happened they've just expressed that they like each other they very much know there's been some spicy stuff going on that's where we're at right now i'm going to try to finish flawless tonight so let's get to reading Hi guys, it is now Wednesday, it's 5.30. I just got back from work and I wanted to give some updates. I finished Flawless last night. I loved it so much. I'll give you like a full rundown and review at the end of the video and my rating and all that. All you need to know right now is I loved it so much. I already ordered the two other books in the Chestnut Spring series because I loved it so much. So we started out very strong in this reading viral books for a week. I wanted to show you the book that I'm moving on to that I actually already moved on to. It's Twisted Love. 
love again like seen this book and series absolutely everywhere i've had twisted love for a little bit but i haven't obviously read it yet i've heard the other books in this series are a lot better than the first one so we'll see how i like this one i'm about 66 pages into this one right now i don't have too many opinions on it yet but basically you have ava who is josh's younger sister she's like the main character and then you have alex who is josh's best friend they're in college josh ends up going abroad so he asks alex his best friend to kind of look over ava they're not very thrilled about it because ava has never been close with alex even though he's been around for a long time because it's her brother's best friend they just don't really get along so they're both not very thrilled about it but he ends up moving into josh's house while he's abroad so he lives right next to ava he's watching over her very closely which she's not loving at the moment so that's kind of all i've gotten to so far kind of meh right now i don't really feel a certain way about it yet so we'll see by tomorrow i'll have a stronger opinion on it but i am reading twist of love is my second book in this video so i'm excited to keep going see where it takes us and see how the characters develop but i just wanted to check in with you guys i'm going to read a bunch more tonight and let you know tomorrow how far i get It's now Friday. I like did not film yesterday because I had a lot going on and I just didn't have that much time. I'm still trekking through Twisted Love. Definitely gonna get this one done today though. So we can move on to our third book. Ignore my appearance. I self tanned last night. I haven't washed it off yet, but I'm currently on page 202 of Twisted Love. So I have a little over a hundred pages left. I think it's been a hard book for me to get through because I'm just really not that into it. It's just like not really the book for me. But basically Basically, Alex and Ava are like together now. I just don't think I like Alex's character. He's super extreme it feels like and very like dominant which I don't love. He's like only nice to Ava and kind of rude to everyone else around him. So I just haven't loved his character which has made it hard to get into this story. But we do find out that he has like a deep dark secret and she does as well. So I'm not gonna give those away because they are spoilers but they're now like officially a couple. They have haven't told her brother yet because he's not home yet but yeah beside that I feel like there's just like not that much going on in this book but I'm going to sit here and finish the rest of this book so I can move on to the third book because I'm very very excited about that and I feel like you guys will be too but yeah I'm gonna sit here finish Twisted Love and then I will show you guys the third and final viral book that I'm going to be reading this week now 12 45 on friday i literally just sat here and finished twisted love so i read like 130 pages guys i don't know what it was this book was not for me it definitely got better within the last hundred pages there was a lot more action you find out some secrets between the two families i think what threw me off the most is alex's power at how young he was it seemed very far-fetched which obviously like things like that can happen but i don't know that really threw me off and then also the fact that he felt like he owned ava that I hate it. I hate when a man feels like he like has ownership over a woman. So that's probably what made me dislike this book the most. The fact that he just thought he could like tell her what to do and she would like kind of fall for it. I hated that part. Let me know in the comments if you've read this and kind of felt that way about this book because I was not here for that. Him having like power over her and just controlling everything she did. Her feelings towards him, that was weird to me. I did not love this book. It was just not one of my favorite books and that's totally fun if you liked this book people have different opinions about books and that's what makes books fun to read again i've heard the other books in the series are better so let me know if you've read this series and if you think i should continue the series but after this book i feel like it'd be hard for me to like want to continue the series but if you can convince me otherwise like let me know in the comments but i have officially finished twisted love i'm about to move on to the last and final book of this video later on this afternoon so excited to show you guys what it is and we will continue 
continue on with the final look of this video. It is now 4.45. It's still Friday, but I'm in the same attire and I have still not showered, which I'm sorry is so gross. I've basically been laying around all day because I have the day off from work and reading, obviously, and then I had to go drop my car off. And then my girlfriend and I finished watching Love is Blind finale, which I was shocked by because just some of the people that I expected to get married didn't. And some of the others I expected to not get married did. So I was very shocked by that and I was crying. But we are back to reading now. Also, after reading Flawless, which you obviously saw me read in this vlog, I immediately ordered Heartless and Powerless and I got them in the mail today. And I'm so excited because they are so beautiful. These are probably the most stunning covers I have ever seen in my life. So I'm so excited to have them all now. We are finally moving on to our last book of this reading viral books for a Week. I'm a little nervous for this one because this is like one of the most hyped books I've ever seen in my life I've heard so much about it and I'm also nervous because this is my first ever fantasy book I will be reading so I really hope it doesn't disappoint because maybe me going into my fantasy era if I like this and I hope I do because I've really been wanting to try fantasy out and this is a good hopeful I think from what I've heard about it third and final book that I'm gonna be reading is a Court of Thorns and Roses. Yay! I'm so excited. I have had this for a really long time, honestly. I got it last year, probably sometime. I get nervous to read super hyped up books because I'm scared I'm not gonna like it like everyone else, but I'm really hoping I do because I've heard so many great things about it and I would love to read the other books in the series if I do like this one. I honestly don't know much about it, but I kind of want to go into it a little bit blind. I've just heard it's really great. I'm so excited. So I'm going to jump into this i will let you guys know my thoughts on it once i get a little bit into it but here is the last book of the week i hope we end it on a strong note considering the last one wasn't my favorite but that's okay so let's get into a court of thorns and roses and let's hope it lives up to the expectations <laughs> I have read 46 pages of Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm basically just kind of finding out about the worlds right now. I have to pay really close attention because I've never read a fantasy book before, so it's all kind of new and confusing to me, but I feel like I'm getting it pretty well, which is good because I was scared I wasn't gonna understand and then I would have been lost the whole book, but I feel like I've got it down pretty well so far. Basically, we've met Feyre, which I literally thought her name was Fair at the beginning, and I also thought she was a boy, but then I discovered her name is Feyre because they show how to pronounce it and she's a girl. So that part kind of tripped me up in the beginning, but she's a human living in poverty with her family. There's these like two worlds of Prithian, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. It's all a bit confusing. So Feyre basically goes to hunt for her family because they are super poor, have no food. So she goes to hunt deer and she comes across this wolf that she ends up killing. So she is able to kill the deer as well for food. But the wolf ends up being like a fairy, which you're not supposed to kill. So basically this other beast from the Prithian, that world, comes and says that he's going to take a life for a life because Feyre killed the wolf. Feyre basically has to go with this beast to Prithian. That's where I'm at right now, they're crossing into the other world of Prithian and doesn't know if it's gonna be good or bad, if she's gonna be like held captive and basically be a prisoner or if it's gonna be a good thing. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm still just learning the whole world and the characters, but I find it pretty interesting right now. I just need to like keep it up in my head and keep things in line and I think we'll be good. But I'm on chapter six, so I'm gonna keep cooking through this book and then I'll get back to you guys. But I just wanted to give you a little update of me getting into my first fantasy book but it's going pretty well so far so I'm happy about that and I'm gonna keep reading hi guys it is Saturday it's around 
almost four o'clock right now and i've just been reading for most of the day i'm on page 232 i'm a little over halfway right now and i've been loving this book right now i'm kind of at the point where Vera and tamlin have like started to form a relationship and they know they like each other also they're dealing with the blight which if you've never read this book before the blight is kind of like something that comes through and takes away their powers and magic and it's kind of destroying the different courts so that's happening and they like don't know what they can do about it so we'll see what happens in the last 200 pages i'm really enjoying the fantasy world because i've never read fantasy before and just learning about the different courts and areas and creatures and all of that it's been really fun so that's where i'm at right now i'm just gonna keep trucking through and definitely finish this tonight i just wanted to give you a little update let's keep going though literally 12 30 right now on sunday so that's great but i have like 100 pages left still so i'm gonna read like half tonight and then half tomorrow morning so i can finish this for you guys but i really love this book it's been easy to read just because i'm so interested in it there's been a lot that's happened since i was last updated you Vera basically ends up falling in love with tamlin and he sends her back to the human world to protect her for reasons i don't want to spoil but she ends up finding out why this curse is still on tamlin in the court and she wants to basically change it because she is able to do that so she dangerously goes back to Prithian and is basically kind of in this battle with their quote-unquote queen but there's a lot of violence going on right now which I hate I like hate violence so reading about it is kind of rough but besides that like it's so entertaining and it's so different obviously from any other genre I've ever read so I love that part of it so I'm very interested to see what happens in this last hundred pages I'm nervous like my heart's beating while I read this right now but it's going well I'm very excited to see what happens it is now Sunday literally the day i'm uploading this i stayed up till two last night reading so i'm a little tired but it's so good i love this book like so so much i have like 17 pages left i think so i'm going to finish this see how it ends hopefully good we're gonna finish akatar right now i'm excited I have officially finished A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I just wanted to run through like all three books really quick because I know this video is going to be long and talk about what I would rate them. So first off, we're going to do Flawless because this is the first one I read. I loved Flawless so much. I loved the setting. I loved the characters together. I loved how it was in the country and different from what I've read before, but I obviously loved the romance part of it. So I think I would rate Flawless a 4.5. I'm leaving room because I've heard that the two other books in the Chestnut Springs series are even better So I don't want to give this one a five stars, but it was real close I would give flawless a 4.5, but I loved it so much and I definitely recommend it if you haven't read it Next up we have twisted love which as you guys saw throughout the vlog I just didn't like it. There were like snippets and parts that I liked but overall the story I just did not like this. So I think I would rate this a 2.5 or like three star yeah there's not much more to say about this one i just didn't really like it and that's totally fine and last but not least wow guys this one put me through so many emotions it was the first ever fantasy book i've ever read so i had high hopes for it but i also didn't have too many expectations because i've never read a fantasy but this book came through i loved every bit of this book i loved Feyre. i loved resand at the end i loved hamlin and this world just had my heart so i would raise a Court of Thorns and Roses, five star. I loved it so much and I'm so excited to get more into fantasy now that I have one under my belt. I'm excited to read the other books in this series because this one was so good and I fell in love with the characters in the story. Yeah, five stars for A Court of Thorns and Roses. It was chef's kiss but that was the end of my reading vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's so much fun to make these videos and i put in a lot of work to them so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i love you guys with my whole heart and i will see you in my next video